What's up and welcome to this guide on how to install a MX Simulator server on a Linux based system. So for anyone out there with non-Linux command line interface knowledge, this is going to be fairly advanced. So uh, I would strongly suggest getting familiar with Linux and uh, especially command line interface Linux with before uh, trying this. So this is going to be done on an Ubuntu machine. So uh, we are going to get started. So use SSH to get into your machine or if you're already on the machine, if it's a local one. Then we are going to go to this desired folder. So I have created a folder named servers. Here we are going to wget to get uh, things from our web address. So go to general discussions on the forum, find the MX server pinned topic copy link for the download, so copy link address in my case, paste, enter and we now have a zip file. As you can see, clearing this out, uh, unzip the zip file, unzip mx like this, clear, and you can see we have a folder at this point. So folder, going to delete the zip file for good measure. And we are going to rename the folder just because we can. So we now have a folder called my server. So moving on. We are going to enter the folder. Uh, we can see what files are in here. We can, from already from start here, delete mxserver.exe and runserver.bat. So let's do that. mxserver.exe and runserver.bat. Clear. And let's see what we have. Readme is always good to keep. We need the MX server file. We need the server orgs. We don't. We actually don't need them, but we are going to keep them because it's way easier to have them in a file. I think we have some track infos, and we have the shell script for uploading results. So now we can finally start working. Uh, how to just basically run the server would be dot slash MX server. Then you need to specify arguments for the server, like what tracks, etc. So you can do this by selecting the file, the server args file. So um, dash dash args dash file space and in quotas server args dot txt. And I already have a few servers running, so uh, we need to change the port. So let's do that port to 19890 save and let's try this again you can see it started but it also sort of locked the system it didn't start in the background so we are going to fix that but you can connect to the server at this point as I am going to demonstrate yes let's sim open here turn off the sound and it's currently running on this address, you see 19890, we can connect to the server. So that's definitely something we wanted to do. It's good to see. As you can see, we have a server up and going. Let's close the sim here again. So uh, we have some data from the server, uh, like who connected, from what address, at what time, etc. etc. So control C to exit this thing here. Let me clear it out. And uh, for ease, I'm going to create a file here to run. And also the command we're going to run is going to make the search start in the background. So nano as yes. I think it's the easiest one to use here. 
the command that we're going to type is pretty much the same as before but with some additions so we're going to start off by typing no hup I'm going to put this in the comments if I remember as well so you can just copy paste or at least see it in there but no hup dot dash mx server and I just renamed my mx server file to mx server 2 that's just so we can in an easier way find uh, the process running later so you're going to be just fine with having your name to be just mx server so this is just so we can find it easier so dot dash mx server 2 then you want to go and add the server args again so dash dash args dash file quotas server args dot txt now we're actually going to have something else we are going to have one of these symbols and then we're going to add server dot log and I'm going to explain in a few seconds what that is then we're going to type two one of these symbols again and one and and basically what this is I think this means it's going to output to a file if specified otherwise it's going to output dot no hp dot out or something so basically output to a file this command right here output to this file and then uh, I don't know exactly what this does but when I added this when I tried to figure out this for myself this made it start in the background so we're going to save this uh, we want to save and I'm going to name the file run so if we see here we have a file called run so let's run the file this is going to be, give us an error permission denied and that seemed to suck but if we use lsla or lsl we can see that it's not executable it doesn't have the x bit so we're going to type in chmod plus x and then the file name which is run and if we do this again we can see that we now have the x bit here which makes it executable so clear this out and let's see if we can do this run and we have no idea if something happened but we can also do this we can do ls we can say that it created server.log so let's see what server.log contains so far server.log so server started if I open MX Limited again we are going to be able to see that as soon as someone connects or something it is going to have more information on it so just going to connect here real quick and we can check what the file has so I'm just going to exit again so let's do the same thing and now we can see that it shows me it shows I connected it shows me and my UID my name I disconnected etc etc so uh, that is basically a server log for all the activity that goes in the server chat messages and stuff as well so let's clear this out but the server is still running and we might need to shut it off or update or do something to it so how do you find we're going to use a command called top we're going to add the dash bc and that's going to give us all loads of information about processes which we don't really need so add a pipeline which is the straight line and type in grep which is letting you filter through the results when you search for something and mx server and here's where the two comes in hand because i have a few different servers running off a, a file called mx server so I'm, this is the part where i wanted to be easy to find so let's see here we're also going to press Control c so this is just basically something i think it's that i searched for it or something but here we have the dot dash mx server server args dot txt so this is the command that was executed and that is the server we are going to shut down so we need to remember this the process id which is 23102 so we're going to type in kill kill 
dash, kill. I don't know if caps is needed, but the manual said that, so I'm going with it. 23,102. Again, you get no response, so let's see if the server is still up and running, if we run the same command. We can see it's now uh, shut down. So that's basically how to create a server and uh, get it running and get it stopped. That's how you do it. So if you have any questions or want anything, feel free to ask and I'll answer as good as I can. Make some awesome stuff and I'll see you some other time.